Welcome everybody to another episode of Appalachian Trophy TV. I'm your host Jeremy Allen and for this week we have a great show for you so stick with us. Appalachian Trophy TV is brought to you by Well for this week's show you're heading to Ohio with me I'm going to go after a big mature whitetail. I have taken a smaller 9 point this year, but I'm after something to break that 130 inch mark. I've killed a lot of deer in my lifetime, a lot of really good bucks, but I haven't beat that 130 mark. I'm the type of guy that just when a good one comes through, I'm ready to sling an arrow or, uh, or give it a shot and try to put that deer down. But I'm heading to Ohio, I'm after my personal best whitetail. As everybody knows, Ohio is known for big monster bucks, so hopefully I'll have a little bit of luck on my side. You guys stick with us for an awesome show. Where am I going? Um, um, hunting. Where, what am I going to go hunt for? Um, a big buck. I'm going to go after a big buck? Yeah. You think I'm going to get me one? How big? Big. Show me. Big, big, big. Like how big? I love you. Bye, Daddy. Daddy, see you soon. Well, folks, it's November the 20th, and it's the first day of the West Virginia rifle season, and I'm heading to northern Ohio after a big whitetail buck with my bow. While well, all my buddies and everybody's in West Virginia gun hunting, I'll be going after a big uh, a big swamp donkey up in the Ohio woods and, and uh, corn-fed fields, so I'm excited. You guys stick with us here on Appalachian Trophy TV. I thank you for watching. Well, folks, I finally made it where I'm going to stay at for the night, and I'm at my hotel room ready to get squared away, get some rest for tonight. I've got to meet my buddy around 6 in the morning uh, to get ready to get out in the woods. He's going to put me in the location to try to get one of these deer down. Um, he has three or four different shooters running around this property, so I'm hoping that I get an opportunity at one of them. Uh, you guys stick with us. I appreciate you for tuning into this week's show. I'm going to get my Ultra Pro X set up on my bow and everything squared away and ready for tomorrow and uh, get some rest tonight. So I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Thanks a lot for watching. Well, I made the trip to Ohio. I'm in my hotel, settled in, ready to get some rest for the night and head out for the morning hunt. Stick with us. Appalachian Trophy TV is brought to you by At the Whitetail Institute, there's a lot of things we could talk about, like pioneering the food plot industry, our extensive research, or our customer success, and the world and state records we've helped produce. But what we don't talk enough about is our customer service, and like our product line, is by far the best in the business. We have the expertise to help you improve the quality of your deer and your deer hunting. So contact us today. The call and the consultation are free. We look forward to the opportunity to earn your business. You were created to do many things, but you were bred for just one. 
You live to make weekend tracks before daybreak. And the only job today is bringing dinner home. Most say you're obsessed and crazy. You choose to call it the wildlife. Introducing the Mahindra Retriever. If you want a quick and easy way to manage your property, check out Plotmaster's new line of UTV and tractor implements. These all-in-one planning machines are perfect for farms, ranches, and hunting properties. Its new VersaSeeder allows you to plant all types of seed, including grass seed and hard-to-plant seed blends. Plotmaster's patented design allows you to disc, plow, plant, cover, and call to pack all at the same time, thus saving you valuable time, money, and effort. Call 888-MAX-GAME today or visit www.plotmasters.com for a Plotmaster's complete line of land management products. Welcome to Summersville, West Virginia. They don't call it Little Bahamas for nothing. Summersville Lakes, it's the largest lake in the state. Boating, fishing, the hotels, the restaurants, wings and burgers, shopping, antiques, golf, winery, great beer, plenty of history, Golly Fest! You can't believe what there is to do. Come to Summersville, West Virginia. You can fill a day in every direction. Well, folks up in Adam this morning, it is bright and early. It is about 5.30 a.m. Uh, on this Tuesday morning. I'm excited to get up and get ready to head uh, to the property to get in the woods, uh, meet my buddy there, and he's gonna get me set up for the morning and hopefully put me on some good deer. So uh, you all stick with us. Again, it's bright and early. I'm trying to wake up here. I'm gonna go take me a scent chai real quick, uh, get all squared away and ready for the morning and head down the road, so y'all stick with us. Thanks for watching. Out of nowhere, with only about 10 minutes left in shooting light, I spot a monster buck feeding out on the acorns out in front of me. I grab my rangefinder, and unfortunately, the buck is right out of range at about 75 yards. Although I didn't get a shot, talk about a rush. That's the biggest buck I've ever seen. I can't wait till tomorrow to try to get back out there hunting that same location and try to get another opportunity. Y'all stick with us through the break for a few words from our sponsors. When we get back, we're going to start out on day two. Appalachian Trophy TV is brought to you by... Take a ride on the Hatfield-McCoy Trails, West Virginia's all-terrain amusement park. With over 600 miles of mountain trails and friendly towns along the way, there's a lot to explore on the Hatfield-McCoy Trail system. Whether you're looking for thrills or just good family fun, you'll find your adventure on the best trails in the USA. Now featuring Bear Wallow Off-Road Park for Jeeps, Hummers, and full-sized off-road vehicles. Get your permit today and ride the HMT. It's not about the harvest. It's about spending quality time in the outdoors with your family and friends. Passing down our traditions and teaching them all we know about our hunting heritage. This is what we do and this is who we are. We are Nature's Voice Game Calls. At the Whitetail Institute, there's a lot of things we could talk about, like pioneering the food plot industry, our extensive research, or our customer success and the world and state records we've helped produce. But what we don't talk enough about is our customer service, and like our product line, is by far the best in the business. We have the expertise to help you improve the quality of your deer and your deer hunting. So contact us today. The call and the consultation are free. We look forward to the opportunity to earn your business.
Alright folks, well it's time. It's uh, day two of our hunt. It's colder today. Temperatures are in the low 30s. Uh, have a chance of some snow coming today. So we need to, uh, to give it our best today. Try to make something happen. Hopefully get a shot at that big buck that came out last evening right before dark. Maybe he'll close the distance a little bit and uh, we'll get an opportunity to put an air through him. But I uh, just wanted to touch base with you guys before I head up the road. Uh, to get set up in the in the blind and ready to go on day two so stick with us thank y'all for watching well day two starts out just like day one another very slow morning with some wind and pretty cold temperatures at lunch i head back to the truck to grab something to eat and all i can think about is that big buck from last night i'm definitely heading back to that ground blind this evening in hopes he makes another appearance Well, we're back out at it again. We're sitting in the same ground blind that we seen that big buck at yesterday. And I'm hoping he comes back out this thicket again this evening and, uh, and gives me an opportunity. We haven't seen very many deer on this trip. Two does, button buck, um, and then that big one. So I'm hoping that he decides to come back out, have a little better weather today than yesterday. So I'm hoping that we can make something happen and uh, he will present us with an opportunity up here in northern Ohio on a beautiful piece of property that has some monsters running around on it. You get into this terrain in this area, uh, you just get a different type of deer than we have back home in West Virginia. And I found that out yesterday evening. So uh, you guys stick with us. I thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Getting close to dark and out of the corner of my eye, I notice movement coming from the thicket to my right side. I couldn't believe it, but he has returned. Let's see if this time he closes the distance and gives me a shot opportunity. His right had 40 yards. He came in closer this evening, fed into some of the closer oak trees, and gave me an opportunity. Um, I hit him a little far back. He took a step as I released the arrow. And unfortunately, I hit him a little far back. He is quartering even more than the camera angle shows. Uh, it's the same buck from yesterday evening. Beautiful monster Ohio whitetail. And I'm a little nervous. I already reviewed the footage. And uh, I've had a chance to calm down here for a second. You guys wouldn't have been able to understand me a few minutes ago. But uh, anyway, I have a lot of faith in that shot. Complete pass through with the Wacom 3 blade, expandable broadhead. And I have faith that we're going to give him some time. And we will find him here in a little bit. So, so pumped. Thanks to all of our sponsors, all of my friends, everybody that helps out with the show. We couldn't do this without you. And this is by far the biggest buck that I've ever taken a shot at or had an opportunity to take a shot at. Um, just a beautiful property up here. I'm just so blessed to have this. This is just so awesome. I can't wait. I, it's killing me just to sit here, and it's only been five minutes, but I need to uh, I need to sit here, wait it out. Probably just got one lung, maybe, with that angle. Um, some liver, probably, but uh, I think he's down. I think he's down. <laughs> Stick with us. Beautiful. Oh, it's awesome. I can't believe the deer came back. I made a tough shot, but he's down. I have that feeling. There's good blood. The whack of broadhead did its job. You guys stick with us through the break, and when we return, we're gonna go track my monster Ohio whitetail. Thanks for watching. 
Appalachian Trophy TV is brought to you by At the Whitetail Institute, there's a lot of things we could talk about like pioneering the food plot industry, our extensive research, or our customer success and the world in state records we've helped produce. But what we don't talk enough about is our customer service, and like our product line, is by far the best in the business. We have the expertise to help you improve the quality of your deer and your deer hunting. So contact us today. The call and the consultation are free. We look forward to the opportunity to earn your business. You were created to do many things, but you were bred for just one. You live to make weekend tracks before daybreak, and the only job today is bringing dinner home. Most say you're obsessed and crazy. You choose to call it the wildlife. Introducing the Mahindra Retriever. want a quick and easy way to manage your property, check out Plotmaster's new line of UTV and tractor implements. These all-in-one planning machines are perfect for farms, ranches, and hunting properties. Its new VersaSeeder allows you to plant all types of seed, including grass seed and hard-to-plant seed blends. Plotmaster's patented design allows you to disc, plow, plant, cover, and call to pack all at the same time, thus saving you valuable time, money, and effort. Call 888-MAX-GAME today or visit www.plotmasters.com for a Plotmaster's complete line of land management products. Welcome to Summersville, West Virginia. They don't call it Little Bahamas for nothing. Summersville Lakes, it's the largest lake in the state. Boating, fishing, the hotels, the restaurants, wings and burgers, shopping, antiques, golf, winery, great beer, plenty of history. Golly Fest! You can't believe what there is to do. Come to Summersville, West Virginia. You can fill a day in every direction. step as I actually pulled the trigger on my release and uh, and man look at this deer the mass on him is unbelievable biggest deer I've ever killed is like 130 and this is a lot bigger than that special thanks to all of our sponsors my wife Jessica for allowing me to come out and make this hunt right before Thanksgiving I can, I'm, I'm just so blessed and excited right now I can't believe it I can't believe it I got a little nervous with the shot and uh and it worked guys, it worked, here he is. He's laying here, about a 40 yard shot on him. Man, I'm so blessed. Thank you all so much for watching the show. Thanks to all of our sponsors for all you do. All my teammates, our family members who put up with us and what we do, and just all the support we received from the state of West Virginia. And, uh, and just excited to travel next door here to Ohio and, and come out on my first trip to Ohio and to be able to put down a buck like this is just amazing. I just can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Look at the neck on him. Big old body. Well, what can I say? There's my personal best white tail. I finally topped the 130 inch mark. Left my comfort zone in West Virginia. Went to Ohio. Was able to get it done and come home with a beautiful buck. I filmed it all by myself. Uh, sitting in the ground blind, you know, dealing with the cold weather, and then to be able to uh, self-film something of that caliber. And as all of us hunters know, uh, you don't even necessarily have to have a camera and you're all shook up. But imagine having a camera running, worrying about getting it all on good footage, and then having to take a shot on a white tail of that caliber. It was very tough. I was all shook up. I actually took off running out of the ground blind after I shot the deer. 
I don't really know what I was doing. I just took off running out of the blind, and I get out there about 20 yards, and I'm like, what, what am I doing? I have to go back and do my interview and, and give this deer a little bit of time, but the excitement just overtook me, and I just took off out of the ground blind. So I was really pumped up. My personal best deer, I'll probably never top that, but I sure will try. I've hunted really hard uh, my entire life. I'm 32 years old, so for the past 25 years, I've been a diehard bow hunter, and I've really tried to uh, harvest mature animals. I've been limited to a lot of 120 to 130 deer, uh, but they're great West Virginia bucks, and I'm very proud of all of them. But to be able to go out there, harvest the deer this magnitude and this caliber, it's just, I, I'm just so blessed. I want to thank all of our sponsors who make the television show possible, who support us in each and every way, uh, the teammates, all of the ATT team who works hard uh, to bring you guys the footage so you can go right along with us through our hunts and experiences. You guys head over to our website, AppalachianTrophyTV.com to keep up with us. You can actually find links on there to episodes as well. Check us out on Facebook. We appreciate all your support. God bless. We'll see you next time. And always remember to live outdoors Appalachia style. Thanks for watching. Appalachian Trophy TV is brought to you by... Great bird down. I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in this week. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next exciting episode. So I thank all of our sponsors that's been a part of this journey with us from the beginning. Here he is, folks. Beautiful rainbow here on Second Creek. Here it is, outdoors, Appalachia style, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching the show. Stick with us for more from Appalachian Trophy.